I have a very cool project to share with you today but first I'm going to the beach because there are some fairly big waves there and I want to get some awesome drone footage of them. Okay, so maybe the waves weren't that big after all, but for that beach, they're pretty big. Right, onto that project I told you about. So what I bought there is a bunch of different grades of sandpaper, from rough through to very fine. Probably not fine enough though for what I'm going to tackle just now, but it should let me know if this project's going to work. So here I have a Mac computer, a MacBook Pro, Apple laptop, and what I want to do is take it from being that dull silver to a complete mirror finish, like a chrome polished sear face in it type thing. I just had an urge to do it because it's one of those things I can do in a in a day kind of thing, I think, potentially. Unlike the jet powered skateboard, which is taking weeks and months as it turns out, because it's my main computer, I don't want to just take all the insides out and the screen out and have the aluminium shell and sand it all down and put it back together because it might not work and I've lost my main computer. So here's what I did, because sometimes I'm kind of clever. I just got, this through the post. I bought a knackered, old, broken, completely useless Mac computer and my plan with that is to see if I can sand down a part of it or a corner of it or, and see if I can get the effect that I want because I don't know if it will actually work. I don't know how fine I have to go with sandpaper. I don't know if maybe it would take a week and it's just not worth it. So I'm going to try just now with that sandpaper and see what kind of result I can get. Man, I started with uh, 800 grit there, which I thought would be okay, and then went down to whatever. Ended up at 240, which is still not rough enough. I mean, I'm putting in loads of effort, a little bit of a sweat there, and like they must hard anodize that aluminium. Like it's just not getting down. What I thought initially might be quite a simple thing turns out to be a little bit more tricky. Okay, so I just spent the last 10 to 15 minutes having another go. I didn't film it because I didn't plan on having another go, it just sort of happened. What I did was start with this ultra, ultra coarse 80 grit, which just scratched the hell out of it, like just deep gouges. And I had to basically use the other sandpapers to, to get it back to something presentable. You know what? This is way, way tougher than I thought. I'm not sure if I'll actually continue because Take a look at this.
that little patch there is the pathetic result of all that effort. I don't know, like, I do have a machine, like a sanding machine that I use for titanium. I might have to use that. The problem is that's only good for like flat sheets as far as I'm aware. Like, I think it might really affect the rounded curved parts of this. And as for the sort of keyboard area where there's like insets and corners and things, I don't know. I think it might just be one of those seem good in my head, but when I actually try to do it, it's a bit of a disaster. So I want to discuss this with you and this. So here's the close up, here's the lid on this cylinder, and here's like a key part. So what that is, is an idea I came up with something like a year and 10 months ago. I decided to revisit it yesterday. I thought it was six months ago I sort of had the idea or came up with the concept, but it was in fact well over a year ago, nearly two years ago. Unbelievable where time goes. What it is, is basically something like this, a little titanium cylinder, but with a difference. And the difference is, is that the walls are thicker, the cap's thicker. You screw the lid on and off with like a, like a custom key. So unless you have that key, then the, it's not coming off. You can put USB sticks in there, money, jewelry, whatever. It'll be a little container, something like that size. Now I didn't do it a year and 10 months ago because I had other projects on the go, but now got better systems in place, ready to do more projects this coming year, and I think it's time to do it. So what I'm going to do is start 3D designing on the computer. I've just bought Solid Edge, that kind of higher priced 3D designing software, and what I thought I'd do, it's a good first project, this titanium storage thing, to sort of bring you along with me. Now, I'm not starting it today, hopefully in the next day or two. And, you know, I'll try and record the screen and video the process, just sort of see how we go. It's a nice, simple project, I think, as I learn this 3D designing stuff. And with that, I will leave you with a quote. It's by Thomas J. Watson, and he said, if you want to increase your success rate, double your failure rate.